Hello dear guests and subscribers of my channel, my name is Salomon and today I want to show and discuss with you a new meta that uh, seems to be found in the game after the recent update. But before that guys, please don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, share this video with your friends, I really appreciate your support. So guys, as all of you know, uh, in the recent update, uh, Super Valkyries have uh, received uh, some buffs, I mean uh, the amount of HP, the uh the speed of the attack and also i think the uh, rage poison was also increased and uh, because of that i was trying to find a new meta a new army composition that can be used with uh, super valkyries and uh, in my opinion i have found it uh first of all i will show you the army composition that i'm using right now it's uh, three packers and four valkyries and uh i also tried uh all Valkyries instead of Pekka's uh, at first, but um, I think they were a little bit uh, uh, worse than uh, this army composition. I will show you some training attacks uh, of this army composition and also explain you why I think this is a new meta and uh, why, in my opinion, Super Valkyries are now uh, pretty much uh, good and pretty, mu pretty much useful. So let's jump to uh, the replays and... Uh, um, in front of them I will explain you my opinions let's go okay guys at first I will show you my uh, trial attacks uh, my uh, friendly challenges with the army composition that uh, consists only from super valkyries uh, starting with the battle blimp uh, actually in the last update also the flame flinger was also nerfed that's why in my opinion uh, it can be used uh, uh, that efficient as it was before the update and uh, besides that uh, because of this change I am switching to the super Valks instead of uh, super bowlers because um, in in most of attacks uh, super bowlers were counted to with the uh, flame flinger so uh, with the battle blimp I'm uh, creating a funnel besides uh, if you remember when we used uh, super bowlers uh, we had to keep uh, as much rage spells as possible uh, for them because without them they didn't get enough healing they didn't get enough um enough uh, damage boost and so on but when you are using valkyries you don't have to care about the rage spells because when uh, valkyries are dying they leave rage spells after them that's why uh, you can uh, use uh, them without rage spells and you can uh, you can spend rage spells uh, for example for battle blimp for your grand warden walk and so on but um, when i was testing uh, army composition only with super valks i found out that I need some tanking units because when uh, Valkyries are starting to die they just uh, die one after another there are a lot of rage spells but there is nobody to get this rage because uh, the, the main army is only Valkyries and that's why in the end you just see lots of rage spells but uh, no troops uh, to get uh, damage increase uh, after these uh, Super Valkyries. Sometimes there are heroes alive and they are usually alive because Valkyries are very fa uh, very fast and uh, they are just uh, running in front of the heroes and getting all the damage. But in some cases uh, uh, only heroes uh, is not enough to destroy the base completely and that's why I was uh, trying different army compositions. I also tried um, a composition with Yeti uh, uh, I mean using Super Valkyries and Yetis, but uh, in some cases uh, Yetis don't have enough HP uh, to tank the Town Hall. And uh, in my opinion, Packers are the best way to be used with the Super Valkyries, and I will show um, these cases in the next replays. Okay guys, so the next replay is uh, uh, using Packers with Super Valkyries and uh, this army composition in my opinion is very very good. By the way, uh, also uh, you have opportunity to use Battle Blimp just to destroy the Town Hall. If uh, Town Hall is uh, standing right um, near the edge of the base, you just send Battle Blimp to destroy the Town Hall and then you start the Grand Warden walk. Uh, actually in this replay you see that I'm using two Skelly spells and two freeze spells. Uh, 
uh, and uh, this is also an option but in some cases it is better to uh, submit uh, the uh, free spell and the skelly spell with the rage spell with another one because uh, with that rage spell you can um, you can use it uh, for your grand warden just to increase his speed and just to increase uh, the creation of the funnel then uh, when the funnel is created and this is the most important thing by the way uh, you start uh, deploying your troops uh, packers and uh, super valkyries and um, you can also use rage spells in the beginning of the attack just to increase uh, speed Speed and damage of the troops and after that when Valkyries uh, start to die uh, they actually create uh, lots of rage spells four of them actually and with that Packers uh, increase their damage healers increase their heal um, heal damage uh, if it's possible to say like this and uh, Pekka can uh, tank a lot of lots of damage besides that uh, healers are usually alive till the end of the attack and uh, this is another option, uh, another um, another plus of uh, this army composition. And I'm always using my king just outside the base uh, to destroy everything outside the base. Uh, and in the meanwhile, Pekas are just tanking in front of the heroes, in front of uh, the healers, and so on. And you see the ending of the attack. Uh, all the Packers are still alive. I, I still have all my heroes alive and uh, almost nothing left on this base. Now, as I said in the beginning, sometimes if you see that the town hall is just on the edge of the base, you can send Battle Blimp just to destroy the town hall. Sometimes you can create a funnel with that and sometimes you can just destroy the town hall. And each time uh, as I attack, I usually have uh, some of the Packers alive till the end because they are getting so much healing uh, under the rage that is left after the Valks are dying in the middle of the base. So you see it's a triple and we are jumping to the next attack. Another attack guys and here you see that the town hall is almost in the middle of the base and this is another um, another type of base and uh, it's, it also can be killed with this uh, army composition. First of all I'm using battle blimp again to create a funnel uh, for my troops and as uh, the same as with the super bowlers uh, funnel is uh, one of the most important things in this army composition because uh, Valks are very fast and if you don't have a good uh, funnel they will just run across the base uh, and spread all over the base. That's why the funnel is very important and that's why why using of uh, battle blimp is also a very good uh, very good idea so uh, starting with the grand warden walk as i said in the previous um, replay you can uh, change one uh, freeze and one skelly spell to another rage spell just to save up some time for the attack because uh, grand warden walk is uh, pretty much uh, slow using skelly spells uh, to distract the single inferno tower and then starting with uh, my main push uh, with uh, super valks and uh, pekkas uh, king is outside uh, the base clearing up everything also using a rage spell uh, in the beginning of the attack and i'm also adding the um, the royal champion just to clear up some uh, defenses on the edge of the base another jump spell opening up uh, the uh, road for my troops to enter the uh, the center of the base. You don't want to come to the center of the base just uh, just ahead in the middle because this way your troops can uh, spread. As I said again, and uh, uh, that's why if you come like this from the corner, then uh, they will all have the same direction and uh, they will start hitting the base at the same time, activating the town hall, killing the enemy troops and so on. And now check out how the rage spells from Valkyries are increasing the damage of the heroes. Just in the end of the attack, two rage spells uh, helping my troops uh, to destroy and to clear up the rest of the base. Another rage spell for uh, King and Pekka and uh, it's a triple guys it's a triple and uh, these rage spells are very very useful and uh, that's why in my first attempts I even tried uh, not to use uh, rage spells at all and uh, uh, submit them with uh, skelly spells but in my opinion uh, skelly spells are not that effective as the rage spells in the beginning and that's why I uh, changed to the rage spells Another attack guys and here you see that the town hall is located on the other side of uh, my attack. 
I decided to attack from this side because uh, I cannot take uh, the town hall down with the battle blimp and it will be also very difficult to destroy it with the flame flinger because the town hall is protected with the axe bows. That's why I decided to attack uh, from the opposite side but uh, to use the battle blimp instead of, uh, sorry, the flame flinger instead of the battle blimp. And the reason is that uh, I cannot send uh, the battle blimp in a good direction uh, to destroy some uh, uh, some important buildings. For example, Scattershot, Inferno, Inferno Tower, maybe CC building or Eagle Artillery. That's why I decided to use the Battle Blimp and this is another option how this army composition can be used because uh, you can change uh, using Battle Blimp with the Flame Flinger and it will be still effective uh, despite that it was uh, nerfed in the last update. So my uh, Grand Warden is destroying some buildings uh, in the corner. Uh, here I could use uh, another Rage Spell for example just to speed up my Grand Warden. Uh, besides uh, another uh, important thing is that uh, when you use Flame Flinger you have one free rage spell because you don't have to use it for your uh, battle blimp as in the uh, previous attacks. And then just using the uh, jump spells for the packers, also using reward ability, uh, killing the enemy CC troops. Uh, you also have two free spells just to protect your troops from the um, from the main damage. I mean uh, single inferno towers in this uh, base and also opening up the uh, road to, for my troops uh, to the town hall. Because actually uh, the main threat for the troops will be uh, the town hall itself because it's also protected with the Tesla farm, also uh, the Xbos and so on. But uh, having my uh, hero's abilities up, I mean Archer and the uh, um, Royal Champion, I will be able to destroy the town hall without any problems. And I also have um, some Pekas, I think, alive and also uh, one Valkyrie. Yeah, there is a Rage Spell from the Valkyrie also. Uh, and as you see, again, all the heroes are alive till the end of the attack. Despite that there were a lot of damage, they are still alive because Pekas were tanking all the way. And one more replay, guys. Uh, here you see again the uh, the layout where the town hall is uh, on the edge of the base, but you cannot reach it with the uh, battle blimp or flame flinger. That's why uh, I decide to attack from the opposite side, and for that I need to create a good funnel. And uh, again, battle blimp is highly effective uh, for this funnel. I'm uh, choosing the compartment with uh, important defenses, uh, X bow, uh, single inferno tower and so on, and then starting with the Grand Warden walk and uh, uh, finishing the funnel for my troops, uh, also using wizard to clear up some uh, unprotected buildings and then I will start attack with my main army, Packers and uh, Super Valkyries, using Skelly spell to distract the single inferno because it can uh, target uh, our Packer and uh, uh, single inferno can kill Pekka very very fast. That's why Skelly spell will protect them for some time. Also using a jump spell just to make sure that my troops are going into the uh, correct compartment and continuing their way to the center of the base. Uh, also I'm um, preparing to use my Grand Warden ability to protect everybody when uh, the main damage will come. And the next jump spell opens up uh, the road and the funnel for my troops uh, to the um, eagle compartment and town hall because uh, in the end uh, I need to destroy the town hall it's it's for sure uh, I am also keeping one free spell just to protect my troops from the town hall when the main damage will come and here you see I have some super valkyries just in front of the town hall using the poison spell and um, uh, now check out how the uh, dead of valkyries are increasing the damage of the royal champion and um, she uh, alone can destroy the town hall without any support and this is also very very good uh, option and opportunity with super valkyries even when you don't have rage spells in the end uh, the death of super valkyries will increase uh, the rest of your troops and for that as i said in the beginning you need to have some tanky troops i mean uh, for example packers because they can survive the explosion of the town hall also the poison of the town hall and uh, they will be still up and uh, getting the healing from the healers and so on and so on and 
as uh, the same as in the previous replays it's a triple guys so i think this is a new meta uh with the with this super troop so guys uh, that's it for today uh, thanks a lot for watching please leave your comments and uh, leave your thoughts uh, in the comment section below the video so i will know what you think about this army composition what do you think it's a new meta or not and i'll see you in the next video it was salomon bye